This is your weekly history quiz show, The Birthday Blog. We are the brothers Anaya. I am at Casanaya. And I am Ty Anaya. Happy birthday, March 19th. This is The Birthday Blog. La 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 Not funny. Round one in the film category. This actress has been in Fatal Attraction, Dangerous Liaisons, and was Corella DeVille in 101 Dalmatians. You, what's your favorite Disney movie? You like that Disney movie? Uh, uh, seven. All right. 1848, this American marshal has been the subject of American folklore for years. He was the first famous uh, lawmaker in Dodge City, uh, Kansas, but really solidified a place in old Western culture for his role in Tombstone and the OK Corral incident. Hey, loud dog. We don't like your law around here, loud dog, with your louds, loud dog. Loud dog. Lo- yeah, we ain't gonna take your dog dog down, down here, loud dog. We don't go take hey, dog. Laos. Loud dog. Loud dog. Loud dog. Loud dog. Uh, 1891. This 30th governor of California and chief justice of the Supreme Court, uh, who helped shape such important judgments as Brown versus Board of Education, which desegregated schools. Gideon versus Wainwright, which provides counsel to defendants when they are unable to afford their own. That's what he had to do. Uh, Miranda versus Arizona, which is which establishes Miranda rights. He also headed the commission which investigated if there was a conspiracy in the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And well, let's get to the round one answers. Glenn Close is the femme fatale actress seen here. White Earp and his awesome mustache have been portrayed in many movies, none greater than Tombstone. Go see it. La da, yeah, you gotta see it in a better movie than that, La Dog. Don't want to see Wired Up. That movie sucks. Kevin Costner can go blow chunks on me, La Dog. And this is Chief Justice Earl Warren. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you, Cass. Round two, where the questions are a little harder. 1906, in the evil Nazi category, Adolf Eichmann was the, a German <laughs> war criminal who organized the transportation of Jews in the Holocaust. Awesome. He escaped to what country for a while until he was discovered by Israeli commandos. 1955, this actor in the Die Hard films was made famous by the TV comedy Moonlighting and was seen in a lot of other amazing movies like Fifth Element, Pulp Fiction, Sixth Sense, Sin City, and other amazing movies with two words in it. <laughs> he is also Ashton Kutcher's dad. That's not, that, no, that's a joke. No, that's real. I heard it on uh, on the Emmys by Ricky Gervais, so you know it must be true. Of course, yeah. Yes. Uh, 1813. Scottish explorer and missionary David Livingston, when found by reporter Henry Stanley in Africa, he said, What now? Very famous quote. Well, let's see the answers for round two. Adolf Eichmann was hiding out in Argentina. He was smuggled out by Israeli commandos and hung for war crimes. Badass. Badass Jews right there. And Bruce Willis is not Ashton Kutcher's dad. And the famous line when the reporter met David Livingston was, Dr. Livingston, I presume. Dr. Livingston, I presume. That's what I said. Dr. Livingston, I presume. All right. Well, everyone, we have more art for this birthday. Click the link to the next episode to see Nevada lay the legal groundwork for Las Vegas. Be sure to subscribe for Cass and I. I'm Ty and I saying click the link and good night, everyone.